and welcome back to the Event Design Toolkit YouTube channel, where we help you design brilliantly crafted and lovingly curated DIY events. In this week's video, I'll be showing you how I made a dried floral display. I chose to use a mixture of bleached and natural grasses and flowers. You can get dried flowers in a range of different colours. I chose these colours as I will be using them in next week's video for a white winter wonderland table display. I used some polystyrene I had to put in the vase to stick the stems into, but floral foam would work perfectly also. I used a fish bowl as a vase, which I painted last week in a gorgeous ceramic effect paint. If you'd like to watch that video, the link will be in the description. I started with my biggest items first, placing them at the back. I used them to create the shape and the height I desired. I kept filling out the back area with pampas until I was happy with the overall look. You can cut the pampas to the length you need by pulling the feathers back and cutting along the stem. As you can see, with all three displays, I started at the back using my larger items, working on the shape and height of the display. Keep adding items until you are happy with the overall look. I did quickly want to mention that with the big display, I did add my front items that I was going to have hanging over before filling out the black because I wanted an idea of how much space they would take up. Now I moved on to the middle section of the displays. Here I wanted to carry on with the shape I'd created with the back section, but also add some extra textures and making sure I'm including different shades. So carry on adding the grasses a little bit shorter from behind and following the shape that you've already created but really filling out the vase so you can't see the polystyrene or foam underneath if using foam. For the thinner and softer stems, it's a lot easier if you poke a hole in the polystyrene or foam first. Mm -hmm. 
When I was happy with the overall look and shape, I then went back and added extra items just to make sure there was enough texture throughout. I also wanted the creams and whites to blend really nicely, so I went back adding pieces to help create this effect. So I followed the three same steps with each vase display. I started at the back and created the height and shape I wanted. I then used the middle layer to really thicken up the vase and add more texture and carry on the shape. And then for the third stage, I added extra details, texture and made sure the colour and shading was the how I wanted it throughout. And that is your dried floral display complete. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope you found it useful. Please do let me know in the comments below. And if you'd like to see how I use these on a white winter wonderland tablescape, make sure you're subscribed. Thanks for watching.